peace to the family. It's Brother Polite. I'm out here. It's another public service announcement. Just to let you guys know that I'm still on the ball. You're still going to get these templates and these letters this evening. Um, still organizing and just working on the infrastructure for how to communicate these ideas in the best fashion. Y'all come in here. Y'all make sure y'all come in here. Okay. Let's get in. While y'all coming in, let me just... say make sure you put your full name and your phone number directly and be clear make sure you share the video because you definitely want to empower other people with this information you don't want to be the only one look at this baby girl hey baby butterflies flying hey boo boo nefertari uh -uh. nefertari Baby. Hi. Hi, baby. Hey. Hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> oh, boy. She's learning how to spit, so that's like her thing right now. <laughs> that's her thing. Okay, you guys are on? Let's get to the teaching. Looking at our shoes too. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Nefertari. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> yeah, so what are we talking about right here? We're talking about. The credit course, right? Oh, it's not even the credit course. It's going to feel like a credit course. I'm telling you, people be like, yo, I'm waiting for this email. I'm waiting for the data. When it gets sent your way, please don't sit on it. Study it straight into not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. We got a lot of work to put in. I'm going to give you an example. I got my laptop in front of me. of what you guys want to be sent. But like I said, I'm just constructing it because I don't want to be sending you an updated version of the same. I'm just making sure everything is in order and it makes sense so that we get money. But these are some of the things that we're going to be disclosing. Yeah, we still vibing out here. Got to work out here. Beautiful weather. It's no excuse to not grind. But watch this. <clears throat> what they don't tell you about credit. Let's get this thing going. You'll change your whole life. Like I keep telling you, credit is a covert form of a class system. That's what it is. It's a class system. Uh, you're talking about some people being more privy than other people in society. That's exactly what a class system is. These are some of the things you're going to do. It's not enough just to have a good credit score or a great credit score. You have to find a way to establish a credit disposition where you can get access to hundreds of thousands of dollars at a time. Not just through credit cards, because my goal is to make sure that you can get $50,000 credit cards. More than one. My job is to make sure that you can set up a trust. Get your trust. During this course, you need to set up a trust. Get your trust so that way your trust can take in and have a hundred plus thousand dollars. Revolving line of credit, 30 grand revolving line of credit. Assign the trust to insurance policy so you can policy so you can also get tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars. So now you got three different mediums. Then I'm gonna teach you about the real estate so you can pull out a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. So you can also have tens or hundreds of thousand dollars revolving line of credit again. All of this is going to be precipitated by you getting in the door through credit. Because if you don't have your credit set up. If your credit disposition is horrid, then you won't be able to do much in society. And the goal is to make sure you have so many, so much electric currency at your disposal, you never have to look back again. You'll never be in economic or financial duress, duress again. That's the goal. So I want you to take a look at this. 
I don't got no time to play around with you guys. Boom. Here's some of the PDFs right here. Look at this. See that? Just so you know I'm not BSing. Oh yeah, we're gonna open them up too. Just give you an idea for those of you that didn't sign up for the course yet. Just give you an idea what, what we got here. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's go to request to add additional information to your credit. Did you guys know that you could request to add additional data to your credit that will improve your score? You don't have to be subject to what they choose to look at. Remember, when, we, when we're dealing with credit, you gotta remember, no one taught you how to deal with it. You went to school from pre-K to 12th grade, that's 14 years of school, and in those 14 years of schooling, no one taught you about real estate, no one taught you about credit. So it's very likely that you're just going along with whatever people do. So you just sit here subject to what people choose to do, not knowing how many opportunities you have at your disposal to create a better credit disposition. So one of the things that we're gonna show you how to do is how to make sure they're considering things that you have the right to be considered on your credit report to raise your score. So this is definitely gonna boost your credit score. Just knowing, hey guys, I want you to consider this, that, and the other. Don't assume they are considering things. They ain't got no problem considering why to lower the score. But you'd be surprised how many things that, that you are paying for or that you are doing that they fail to consider. So take a look at this right here. Okay? So here we have here, watch this. Getting positive information added to anyone other than the source is not an easy task. However, sometimes for a fee, credit bureaus will often add the information if proof is acquired from the source. If you have valid proof of debt with creditor's name, contact information, and history, include that with your request. I mean, this could be one of your people extending you a loan. There's so many different levels of this. Your man can create a company, you got a company, and you move some money to him, and he pays you back the money or vice versa. You, you, you borrow some money from him, he sends you some money, but hey, identify it as a loan. I can, I'm, y'all get the point. I'm not even gonna go that hard. But uh, look at this, you see, client's name, bureau, these are templates. Attention, fraud department, request for addition of credit information to whom it may concern. I'm writing to request that you please include the additional information attached to my credit history report. You may verify this information with the source and I have included their contact details. According to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, FCRA Section 602B, I am permitted to have accurate and true information reflected in my credit report. To accomplish this, I am requesting that my positive payment history with creditor's name, gonna go right here, be added. This will justify, this will justly reflect my payment history. I'm reading it from my phone to the computer to make sure y'all can follow along. Payment history, therefore I request that you immediately verify and add the enclosed payment history to my credit file and then what you do you enclose proof from creditor i'm showing you how to do this in the course this course is going to take a little bit <laughs> a lot of time it's very thorough but i'm giving you the templates all you gotta do is fill in the information and i'm gonna show you the things that you can do you want to add as much as data that's true as possible and i'm gonna give you so many different scenarios of accurate data because the more accurate accounts of your credit history positive credit history you give them it's going to impact your score in real time. Who says you only have to be subject to the credit history that they say they want you uh, to be accredited for, acknowledged for? You see, we got to think differently. Oh, and what is this according to? According to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. What's that called? FCRA section what? 602B. Now, let me let me take you out of here. And of course, there's more to the template. Uh, let's Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Uh, look at this. We got a 609 letter. So it's loading up. Look at this. This letter is a formal complaint that you are reporting an inaccurate and incomplete credit information. According to the Fair Credit Report Act, Section 609, 
a one a you are required by federal law to verify through the physical verification of the original signed consumer contract any and all accounts that you post on the credit report otherwise anyone paying for your reporting services could fax mail or email in a fraudulent account i demand to see verifiable proof i.e an original consumer contract with my signature on it that you have on file for the account listed below your failure to positively verify the account has hurt my ability to obtain credit under the fcra remember what that is right that's the fair credit reporting act learn that unverifiable accounts must be removed and if you are unable to provide me a copy of verifiable proof you must remove the account listed below now watch this I'm gonna tell you how you guys are gonna win. Most times they can't even get they can't even get that in the space of time. There's a there's a there's a loophole with the creditors. They normally can't get back this proof in enough time from the creditors to get back to you in the amount of time before they're under great scrutiny. They have to respond to you, otherwise it's a thirty thousand dollar fee. And also people will be in trouble. So oftentimes, whether it's true or it's false, the inability for them to verify it in the amount of time that you send this letter will demand that they have to remove it. And what you'll find, a lot of times, they're just going to remove the damn thing anyway because they don't got the time to be trying to verify something per individual. You know how much people have credit scores? Almost everybody. <clears throat> so they ain't got time for that. So the, the few of you that slick enough to say, hey, I want you to verify this. Even though your ass know you got evicted, verify that bitch. That's it. Verify it. I want to see it. I want that creditor to have to give you the proper data and for you to sh disclose to me what made you come to that conclusion. Because you don't even understand the whole situation and how it played out. They solicited that information to y'all for the purposes of damaging me before the eviction even went through. And that happens a lot of times. A lot of times stuff goes on the report prematurely before it's supposed to go on the report. And if that happened, they got to stri strike that off the record. And I'm going to tell you something. If you just go through something with any creditor and it winds up on there in a month or two from the time that it went down, chances are it was given to them prematurely because that creditor just was out to ruin your life. Okay, so we just looking for them to verify. That's all we want them to do. We want them to verify. That's all. And a lot of times it won't be verified because they'll look at the time lapse and they'll see the discrepancy between the two and they'll be like, man, this shit ain't even credible. We're not even going to waste our time sending this to this person. We're just going to remove it. Okay, so this is why you need the 609 letter. That's why you need the 609 letter. These are some of the things I got. I got I got so much information for days. I don't care if you take it, you copy it. I don't, it doesn't matter because I got so much information. It's ridiculous. In a sense, and secondly, it's for y'all anyway. All right. And it's a template. So it tells you the bureau address. If you don't know these things, then that's the stuff we'll do with the course too. the bureau address. We'll give you the addresses to whom it concern, client, first name, all of that. We'll show you how it looks. I'll come up with a John Doe and I'll fill in all that information just to make sure y'all good. You heard? So, you know, what? hold on. Let's go to another one. We'll do some more of this another day too. Uh, Got stuff with victim identity. Look at Lexus Nexus. Nexus. This is very important. We're going to deal with Lexus Nexus. That's a conversation in itself. When I get some more free time. Yeah, these are, uh, I just showed you two. Two uh, PDFs I'm sharing. I got over 20 for different scenarios and circumstances. I'm not telling you you're going to need all 20 plus. I'm just giving you enough so you won't have to call me for nothing unique. I'm giving you as many things as possible so you won't say polite. I got a unique situation. My man, I gave you for that unique situation. Check out template number 16. Check out template number 22. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna go over these in the course and we're gonna show you how to deal with it. So remember, I just gave you a major jewel. One of the major jewels I just gave you is you don't have to wait for, just because they are the credit bureaus, you don't have to be subject to only what they report you can report to the credit bureaus positive credit history that they may not have incorporated in their synopsis in their overall report just because they just because they're the credit bureau doesn't mean you have to sit here be at their disposal for what they choose to report there's a lot of other things they're not reporting all you got to do is show proof oh yeah i owe this person bread i owe this entity money and i i want to make sure that this is included so you send them that letter okay 
and you make sure you say, look, y'all need to start including these types of things where I owe money and I paid it back. Because for some reason, y'all only like blowing up spots. I don't see y'all really showing me positive reporting. So it's your responsibility to give them positive reporting. Believe it or not, a lot of the positive reporting doesn't go through. You can't call it racism or nothing. It's your responsibility because it's your credit report. There is no automated response, people. Chill out. Stop with that. Stop with that. First of all, take the course so you can get it in. But what I don't want is no misinformation. So don't put no misinformation out there. Oh, they're going to send you back with an automated response. Listen to what I'm saying. If they don't respond in the affirmative, if you don't get the results that these affidavits and these letters demand, then they are going to be subject to penalties that they're not even attempting to have to pay. These are monetary penalties. They're not going to do that. They're just going to remove the shit off your report. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Inside of two weeks, a month, month and a half, a lot of shit's going to be gone. Facts. <clears throat> Facts. Now, here's another one. Lexus Nexus Consumer Center. Look at that. Got the address and everything here. I just want to show y'all. There's no reason for me not to give y'all this. It's because I'm still working tonight that... I don't want y'all saying, yo, he's telling us he's going to give us all these different things. So I'm just showing y'all. And there's more than one page to these things. I just want y'all to see. See? These things have more than one page. It's just, I'm just going, I'm scrolling through it and giving you a little synopsis. I'm not going to go through all of them right now. Just giving you guys an idea. And I want you to see it's in writing. And let you know I'm in the email right here with all the templates here. I just got to reread everything, review everything. And then the thing, the way that I'm doing it is deciding in what order things are going to be communicated. So that's kind of like the direction I want to go in. I was going to put all of these in a PDF, pardon me, in a PowerPoint, and then put it in PDF version. But then I said, you know what, maybe I should make it easier for you guys so you can just print it out instead of have to redo it because it's inside of a PowerPoint. So these are the different things that I go through because I want to make it easier for you guys. Remember, if you're interested in getting the master course, this is just how we done with credit. I still ain't take you to where I want to take you for the real estate. I ain't take you where I want to take you for the insurance. This is how we deal with credit. And look how thorough the credit session is going to be. This is session three. The first two classes were the warm up. We're not playing games at this particular point in time. So check this out. Make sure you share this video as well to let people know I'm not playing games. There's a lot of talk about we fix credit this, we fix that, we repair this, we repair that. I hear all of that. And I'm not saying people are not good at what they do. I just know I'm great because I'm very meticulous. And nothing you see here can even come remotely close to what I'm going to be sharing on there. I have a, I have a, a good brother comrade that's going to be doing his thing uh, a good brother by name of uh marcus he's going to be uh assisting me in the deliberations for this because this is taxing this is a lot of data and we're going to combine the knowledge to make sure we can have you guys up and running because this is light work so i don't mind putting this information out for free i hope you use it asap it's light work Okay, so Lexus Nexus Consumer Center, P.O. Box, look, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm requesting a security freeze be placed on my consumer disclosure report. Wow, look at that. I opt out of you disclosing future information until further notice, including the CLUE report. Wow, and other reports furnished Lexus Nexus regarding all personal information of mine. Let's say, uh, your bank account information, people. Do you know that they know when your bank account goes into negative and if you only have 200 in there at the end of the month and only 1,000 at the end of the month? That's being used against you. And it doesn't have to be used against you. But you have to say something. You have to say something. This security freeze request not only restricts credit bureaus and creditors, but also future potential employers until I lift this restriction under the Fair Credit Report Act. You're required to comply. My information is clearly shown below, right? And boom. And these are, you know, just generic, generic information, generic numbers, photo ID, social security card. Boom. After this credit freeze has been filed, please send written confirmation to the address listed below. So that's right. You're looking for written confirmation. So I'm going to teach you during the course, what are the things that have been working against you? that can give you a better opportunity to win. Sometimes this is the difference between you. Most times this is the difference between you getting a black card 
and you only getting a damn thousand dollars line of credit on a regular credit card. You feel what I'm saying? This is a fact. Because there are a lot of things that don't have to be used that work against you. But if you don't say something, it's going to continuously be used against you. And that doesn't put you in a good position. So one of the first things that I want you to do is send this letter out to Lexus Nexus. You got to send this letter out to Lexus Nexus. You got to get that out of there. Okay? And you, you send them your personal data and you wait for confirmation. You wait for confirmation that there's going to be an instant freeze. So now certain data would never be held in review. Now, if you're in a real great position, you don't mind them seeing your bank account information and things like that, fine. But if you know your shit is a little suspect, and even if, you think, even if your account ain't suspect, you never know. Like what you don't want is the way you have to be meticulous in your approach towards using your credit cards, you don't want to have to be that meticulous in your approach towards using your own bank account. You don't want to know, damn, now I can't spend as much for my bank account without them holding me at fault. Now I can't Now I can't take $10,000 out of my account and handle business or $800 out of my account without it impacting me negatively as far as them giving me access to larger lines of credit. Now, you see, this type of stuff may not necessarily impact your credit score, though it can. It may impact your ability to get larger lines of credit or even be turned down, denied or approved for a credit card. Or you may only get a loan for 10,000 instead of 100 grand. Or you may be turned down for a personal loan and trying to figure out why. Because they're using data that they don't necessarily have the right to use. But you have to let them know that you don't want them to use that information. Otherwise, by default, it's considered that you have no problem with it. Because this is presumption of law. This is a sumpsit. And a sumpsit is, hey, it's perfectly legal until you tell us otherwise. So by a sumpsit of law, you have to fix that. So you see, here's some more information. I'm gonna make it simple and plain. I'm not playing no games with you guys, man. This is real talk. I'm not sharing all these documents. I don't have the time. I gotta do that for a course. But I'm sharing documents just to let people know that it's here. I mean, I'm locked and loaded. I'm staying up all night, and I'm gonna make sure I get these this information to you tonight. Just walk with me. Hold my hand. Send these docs. So all the people that pay for the course. The course is $225. You leave your full name, your phone number. In the email, I put it there, it's pinned to the top, brotherpolite45 at gmail.com, and we'll get it in. We'll get it in for you. But this is just an example. It's just an example. Okay? It's just an example. It's just an example. Just an example. Just an example. Just an example. Um, so here you got, so then you're enclosed. Copy of social security number, card, copy of ID card, proof of your identity, and you're sending it to this place. Boom. Atlanta, Georgia, the P.O. box right there, Lexus Nexus. Most of us dealing with the credit paradigm don't even know what Lexus Nexus is. And that's that's a sad, sad truth. But it's understood because again, it's not taught in school. And if it's not taught in school, chances are you don't know nothing about it ever. Anybody that you know that need to fix their credit, boost their credit score, hook up their report, I'm putting the power in your hands. Putting the power in your hands. Because when we got to do all this stuff, is work. And this is why I would have to charge you substantially. Because this is a lot of work. And then some of this work that we're going to get into, you're going to be like, yo, bro, I don't want to really give you my social security number. I don't want to give you this and third. So there you go. Now, this is, I'm doing it for a real light amount. The information has been organized in depth. Everything from what kind of mailing address you need to set up. What needs to be written is already written for you. Hence the reason it's a template. It's going down. It's going down. Okay. So make sure you share this video with whoever you need it to be shared with. And give them those words of advice. And I gotta get ready to bust a move, actually, but just want you guys to know. Hey, it's a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's look at this. When the Bureau responds to your dispute, 
and requests for verification, validation, their response may be vague. For instance, they will sometimes just say verified without offering actual proof. When this happens, you have the right by law to challenge how the credit bureau came to the decision. FCRA Act Section 611 gives you the right to request an explanation of the verification method used by the CRA. If either party has the records, you can request a copy under the FACTA Act Section 312B and C. This document will need modifications depending on the situation. See the notes below in bold. And those modifications, when you're in the final step of the CRC Dispute Wizard 3, the final viewer editor page, and then delete these instructions. For request to describe method of verification to whom it may concern, I'm writing to request the method of ver verification for dispute initiated on and to date there and the subsequent response received on and to correct date here and close with this letter. So you got to be organized, but this is to change your life around. Once you get your credit right, your whole world is going to change. Once you get access to $100,000 by way of two credit cards, your world is going to change. Once you get access to over 100 grand through the trust uh, revolve line of credit, your world is going to change. Once you get over six figures through being able to borrow against insurance policy, and you may just use it uh, like how distribution would go for a pension and say, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to use the equity or the death benefit to purchase some real estate. And you know that you can securitize your interest or you could set up a security interest. Okay, secure party creditor, hint, hint. You can get that stuff done. Why? Well, because you have your credit cards on deck that can back you up. You have your HELOC on deck that can back you up. You have your trust on deck that can back you up because you got equity everywhere, everywhere. You have several places you can go for tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. So there is no hole you're going to find yourself in unless you're just reckless and out of control. No roll in the mission, it's just one, one fee. It's $225. That's it, $225. It's consisting of six classes, but this credit session in itself is like several classes in one. I'm not playing games. So when, when I say we, we're putting in pain for the course, I want y'all to really understand it's, it's not a game. It's really not a game. There's a lot of knowledge to be learned just reading each one of these letters but I have so much more information to share in and around these letters to really give you an overview. But I'm not gonna play games, break down the history of credit, who started it and how it's out here to alienate black people. And then when you finish with the course, you still have the same amount of information damn near that you walked in with as you will have when you walk out. You're not playing that game. If you email and text me, email and text me again, always leave your full name and your number. If you don't leave your number, for one of the admin on myself to touch base, then chances are I may not touch base. So keep that in mind. It's a master course, is what it's called. Okay, so I got the price at 225, which is still the discounted rate. I'm supposed to charge more. I've been dragging the price, dragging my feet on the price. Just purchase it when you can, man. Do it in real time. Get it out your head because you're investing in the rest of your life. I'm telling you, once you hook up your credit and you remove all those negative things on your report, you got you're back to getting credit cards, not just getting credit cards. Even now, some of you got good credit and you can't even get significant credit limits. And the reason why they're doing that, because they know if a person is qualified and getting two fifty thousand dollar credit cards, if a person is qualified to receive a personal loan for 150 grand, if a person is qualified to get 200 grand for their trust that they just set up a month ago, I mean, listen to me and listen to me carefully. Having all those different venues to get money and then you assign your trust to an insurance policy so you can borrow against the policy so you can qualify for getting another 10, tens of thousands or six figures. Listen, at the end of the day, you got to understand, that's life changing. It's a game changer. Because what piece of real estate you can't invest in that from that point forward, you could perpetuate that same success from your interest and do it again over and over and over. How many different things can you not invest in after this? So it's just common sense at this point. It's common sense. It's common sense. All right. And then if you want to get into the real thick of things and you get the mentorship.
That's where the money get made. But you can make the money here. It's a, it's a slower process. The process going to get done nonetheless. And even though it's a slower process, it's still quicker than what anybody else is going to provide for you. Because my goal is to make sure you get significant sums of money at your disposal in a form of credit. I ain't even talk to you about flipping anything, investing money into something, and getting money back in return. My goal is just to put you in the conversation where you can make some money that is due you. Credit is due you. Everyone's supposed to have the right to access money to possibly fuck it up. And you ain't even get a chance to fuck up money. You didn't even get a chance to mess up the money yet. That's how crazy it is. You didn't even get a chance to have money at your disposal to make an error for them to say, we will not give you nothing. They already got you shut away and shut out from the money before it was administered to you. I cover all of those reports. Come on, Gregory, I ain't playing no games here. That's why I tell you cash is king, credit is queen, and we playing chess off the board. The king can get you from point A to point B, or from point B to point C, or point C to point D, but the queen can take you from point A to point D, or A through Z, with just one slide across the board. That's credit, she's credit. Cash is king, credit is queen. You know how integral a role the queen plays. So what they do, they checkmate you. They checkmate you, they know you don't know nothing about credit, they know you don't know how to say, consider this, don't consider that. So, just in what I showed you just now, I just showed you, there's things to not be considered that you're not telling them not to consider, and there's things that should be considered that you haven't told them to consider, and you can manipulate what's being considered, so long as it's in the realm of truth. The law is not meant to be broken, it's meant to be interpreted. It's not meant to be broken, it's meant to be interpreted. It's a fire class. It's a fire session. But I gotta get ready to get out of here. I had a great deal of fun just doing this little brief thing. But uh, review this video again. Make sure you sign up for the course if you're already locked in for the course. Don't worry about it. I got these templates coming to you tonight. It's just a whole lot. So give me some time. And I hope you guys' email can accept all of this. That's why I think I should break it up in half. I should, I'm gonna figure it out. Hopefully, I don't get no complaints that people can open up all these templates. Where can you get the class? You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. And you say you want to sign up for the master course. That's it. And then I'll give you a call. Uh, I'm going to take some time out. Vibe with the family. Uh, send those emails. If you already signed up for the course that's coming tonight, no need to email me unless you don't get it tonight. Uh, if you are looking to get in the course, you email me ASAP and get that $225 price. Small price to pay. And like I said, I showed you, if what I showed you right now doesn't have you feeling comfortable and confident, then don't do it. This ain't about no begging. I'm just saying we haven't been in the game yet. We haven't got the opportunity to get a significant sum of money that everyone has the right to and mess it up and then make it hard for us to get it again. If you ain't get a chance to mess up 100000 that's crazy. If you ain't get a chance to mess up 200000 that's crazy. If you never had a $50,000 credit card, then you ha you've been denied your right. You, you have to be given the right to wealth. That's what credit is about. Wealth begins at $150,000 plus a year. You haven't been given the right to wealth if you haven't touched 150000 at once or had $150,000 available to you at once. If you ain't get that at once, you ain't never had the benefit of having credit yet. They shutting us out before we even touch the opportunity. Everyone has the right to the opportunity. You don't think, oh, well, some people gonna get the money and some people don't. Oh, I gotta get all these things straight and I gotta have my business open for 20 years. Yo, that's a lie. It's a complete lie. There's simple things that's holding you back because you're not telling them what not to include and what to exclude. Just those two things in itself. That's why you gotta communicate with LexisNexis. That's why you gotta get that 609 letter off. That's why you gotta have that 602 thing talked about as well it's a it's a lot it's a it's a lot it's real talk so you make sure if you feel on the vibe don't keep it to yourself share it with the rest of the family i could go on for days got mad stuff for you this is this is this one is called reply to accusation of credit repair
This one's called Report Identity Theft Alternative 2. Method of Verification Alternative. Intention to file FTC complaint after 60 days. Come on, man. Like, this is not a game. Intention to file FTC complaint after 30 days. Intent to file lawsuit for FCRA violation. Like, they don't, they don't got the time for this type of stuff, man. Trust me. They don't want no problems. They don't want no smoke. Dispute credit report, round one. Dispute credit report. Dispute follow-up after no response in 30 days. Dispute follow-up after no response for 60 days. It's a lot of work. Like I said, people could take it, copy it, start doing their own classes on it, which they will. Try to mix it up and mangle it. But hey, do it the way I teach you and get the results you need to get. That's how that works. I'm getting out of here. I appreciate you guys. I'm showing you what's right here, locked and loaded. I just may switch some of the order, some of this data, or package it a little bit differently, and I'm, I'm good to go. But yeah, this is about changing your life, man. You can't have, like we call it in our language, in Duasusu, we call it Kuina Akunu. That's spiritual economics. Because we identify with the fact that this is a capitalistic construct, and you cannot have any spirituality without first having some economic sovereignty. These are facts. You gotta have some kind of control. You gotta become master of your own destiny in the realm of economics in order for you to precipitate the type of spiritual application and execution that's necessary for children of the light, the melanated. All right, y'all. So just sharing that data with you. I love you guys so much. I had a great time doing this build. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, man. This was fun. I'm gonna come back and do another one for you. Open up some more letters and just give you the vision. But this course is not one to play with. I'm extremely excited about session three of the six class course. It's six classes. This is class three. The first two is preliminary and warm up and you'll get those with the PDF but we're not playing for this. This is to change lives. I wanna know that everybody that's in this course, when they are done, they can say, man, damn P, really appreciate it. I love y'all. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you so much.